In Python, a dictionary stores data as key value pairs. Like a real dictionary book, when you look up a word for a definition, the word is the key and the definition is the value. A dict is a type of object for a dictionary and can be created using curly braces or the dict function. And there are several useful dictionary operations. There's my underscore dict, and you can pass in the key in square brackets, which gets the value associated with a specified key. There's also my underscore dict, where you pass in the key in square brackets and assign it to a value, which adds an entry if the entry does not exist. Otherwise, it modifies an existing entry if it does exist. There's also a del keyword, del space my underscore dict, and you pass in the key in the square brackets, which deletes the key from a dict. And there's also the key keyword, which checks if the key exists in your dictionary, or in this case, my underscore dict. Let's create a dictionary using the curly braces and the dict function, and also check out some examples of these useful dictionary operations. Let's create a dictionary of states called states and we'll set that to CA that is California MI is Michigan and FL Florida. Okay, so CA, MI, and FL are the keys. California, Michigan, and Florida are the values. So these are the key value pairs, comma separated and surrounded by curly braces, and this creates the states dictionary. Let's try to print that out and see what happens. And it just prints it out kind of like the way that we see it already. We could also do something similar using the dict function say states to dict and look at say tx is texas and notice we don't have quotation marks around the tx when we're creating it using the dict function but we do need them when we're using the curly braces let's also add another state in there nm for new mexico and one more easy Arizona. Let's try printing that one out. Print states two. And you can see it prints out very similarly to the original states dictionary. Let's try out some common dict operations. Let's print states and provide a key. Let's print the key print the value for the key MI and see what that does. That just gives you Michigan. Let's try it with the other dictionary. Let's pass TX to it. That gives you, actually that's called States 2, sorry, States 2. That gives you Texas. We can actually delete the key value pair from a dictionary. We can say Dell States 2. And let's delete New Mexico from there. And then let's just print out states too after deleting Mexico. And you can see, oops, states two, not states one. So here's the before and after. So before it was Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. Now it's just Texas and Arizona. And to check if a key even exists in a dictionary, we could say, TX is TX in states two should give you true or false true Texas is in states two but is Michigan in there Michigan is in states not in states two this should give you false we could also modify existing entries let's, let's keep this simple erase a lot of this code so this will just print out all the states from this original list and let's try something let's say states Key California. We 
we could change that to just Cali. Now California got changed to Cali. And if we try to say states and add a key that's not even in there, like Texas is not in there. Then if it doesn't find that key, then it'll just add a new entry. And then when you print out all the states, it'll add Texas to the end of that dictionary.